Hi friends! Welcome to Kitchen Princess Bamboo Japanese Everyday Food. Today I'm going to show you how to boost immune system. As you already know, we are in a difficult situation in Japan. There is a risk of the infection of coronavirus. All we can do is maintaining our immune system healthy to protect ourselves, not to contact and spread the virus. The only strategy to being healthy is keeping your immune system as strong as possible. I haven't caught a cold for more than 15 years and I have never caught influenza virus in my life. Maybe I can be your help. Let's get started. Number one, get enough sleep. Sleep is crucial to your immune system function right. I sleep from 11 to 6 every night. A study shows a person who sleep less than 5 hours have twice more risks to catch a cold. Make sure sleep for more than 6 hours. Number 2. Exercise. I do at least 10 minutes of exercise every day at home. It's not too intense but moderate. That's the point. And I try to increase daily life activity by cooking or cleaning. You can find a good exercise YouTube channel. Number 3. Eating nutritious food. This is essential factor in your life. Kabocha is a good source of vitamins and minerals. When it's served with pork, which contains vitamin B, it's going to be a great combination. Pumpkin strengthens your skin and it recovers the energy. Cut your pumpkin into bite-sized pieces. It is firm, so please be careful not to cut your fingers. If your pumpkin skin is very hard, just shave it off. The skin contains a lot of nutrients, so remove the minimum. Put it in a pot and pour a cup of dashi and one teaspoon of soy sauce and half a teaspoon of sugar. Cover the lid and simmer 8 to 10 minutes or until done. Scrape the skin of the ginger and mince. In another pot, put in your ground pork and minced ginger and a tablespoon of sake. Separate all the grains by using chopsticks moving back and forth. Turn the heat to medium-low. Cook until all the grains separated. Pour 1 cup of dashi. Add in 1 tablespoon of rice soy sauce and mirin. Bring it to a boil. Skim off the scum. Add potato starch dissolved in the same amount of water to thicken up the sauce. The pumpkin looks good. Then transfer to a serving bowl and ladle pork sauce over it. There you have your simmered pumpkin with pork sauce. The sweetness from the kabocha squash and the savory pork sauce goes very well together. The aroma from the ginger is so comfortable and warms up your body. You can use any kind of brilliant colored vegetables like broccoli or sweet potato. Another effortless tasty soup is ready in a minute for your lunch or dinner or even for breakfast. Maitake Mushroom Soup Maitake boosts your immune system by strengthening natural killer cells. Ingredients are very simple. You can make good miso soup with maitake, but today I will show you the Chinese style soup. Slice long green onion diagonally. The green part has a slippery property inside, so that is good for your guts. It will clean your guts and provide good environments for your immune system. Keeping your gut clean is crucial for the immune system. Mince your garlic and ginger. Garlic prevents cancer and lower the blood pressure, cholesterol, and substantial property for recovering the fatigue and keep you healthy. Preparation is done, let's start cooking. It is very fast. Turn on the heat to medium and add in the teaspoon of vegetable oil. Put in your minced garlic and ginger and cook until fragrant. Add in your long green onion and cook until wilted just a little bit. 
Set your long green onion aside and add in the soy sauce and cook it until very fragrant, almost like roasted. That makes the soup so tasty. Then pour in the chicken broth. Add in maitake mushroom and cook until heat it through. It's going to take only 2 to 3 minutes. You can serve it immediately, but to make it satisfying, drop one egg and cook two more minutes or until half cooked. Ladle in the soup bowl and drizzle a teaspoon of sesame oil for the finishing touch. There you have your maitake soup. Half cooked egg yolk adds the richness to the soup and it also a good source of protein. Ginger and garlic gives your body a heat and improve your blood circulation. The cooked soy sauce gives a good twist to the aftertaste. Next, kimchi and natto bowl. This rice bowl is a kind of hardcore of Japanese daily food, but I like it so much. The probiotics of natto and kimchi make powerful probiotics when it combine together. Actually, it's yummy if it doesn't look like so. To this rice bowl, I want to add the hot spring egg. To make a hot spring egg, put your room temperature egg into a glass bowl and pour boiling water and cover with a plastic wrap and cover with the towel to keep the temperature right. The egg yolk will cook at a temperature of 65 to 70 degrees Celsius. If you keep temperature 80 degrees for 20 minutes, that will be making good hot spring egg. But it's still chilly, so it's not going to be successful. After 20 minutes, discard the hot water and pour the boiling water again and leave it 10 more minutes. It worked well for me, but I recommend to play around the time to have your preferred consistency of the egg yolk. Scoop your rice as much as you want, top with natto and kimchi and hot spring egg. Sprinkle sesame seed and chopped scallions and there you have your kimchi natto rice bowl. Leave natto out if you don't like it. It tastes so good. Next, let me introduce you to my favorite tea, which I take in the late morning before noon or uh, tea time at 3 or 4 p.m. Scrape the skin of the ginger and grate. In a pot, pour a cup of water and one teaspoon of grated ginger and half a cup of whole milk. Bring it to a boil and pour onto two teaspoons of tea leaf. I like to use Assam or Kenya for this milk tea because it has a strong flavor which is necessary to make good milk tea. Give your body a heat and improve your blood circulation. This will make you focus on the job later in the afternoon or the rest of your day. Next, apple vinegar honey ginger drink. This is the easiest drink to boost your immune system. Add 1 teaspoon of apple vinegar and 2 teaspoons of honey and 1 teaspoon of grated ginger. Pour 1 cup of boiling water and that's it! This drink controls your blood sugar levels and improves your blood circulation and also improves your gut condition. And here is an easy and healthy snack for you. Chop the apples into bite size and pour the yogurt of your choice. I choose the one full of probiotics and sprinkle with your favorite brand granola. There you have your easy snack in the afternoon or breakfast. I like to have apple yogurt granola for my afternoon snack. Apple promotes the bacteria in your gut and cleans your gut and it has anti-inflammatory property and that will work for your immune system stay healthy. Lastly, I want to insist on the health benefit of taking a bath. Taking a bath releases the stress 
and improve the blood circulation, of course, and it also taking care of your immune system. Japanese people have a habit of taking bath every day, and I know the people in the Western countries don't have a practice of that taking a bath but shower. But I still strongly recommend taking a bath occasionally somewhere you can find. I don't go massage or gyms, but I go to the hot springs of my neighbor once a week. Out there, I'm doing contrast bath treatment or heat and cold treatment. I know this is not for everyone, but for me, it worked well. What I do is taking a bath at least 10 minutes and warm up my body, then take a cold bath for 30 seconds. After taking a cold bath, take a hot bath for 30 seconds to 1 minute, repeat 10 times and then finish with the hot bath. Alternating hot shower and cold shower brings you similar effect. Yes, this is not quite comfortable, but I know this makes me very healthy, so I can stand that. I was not sure about the effect of the contrast bath therapy, but once I did, I felt my body is lighter and the stiff neck improved and I feel like the fatigue substance is washed away. That's why I continue doing this once a week for two years. And the laughter is a good remedy for your happiness and boosts your immune system dramatically. Laughter minimizes your stress and feels so much better. And don't forget to wash your hands. It is maybe hard to be optimistic, but what we can do is to be strong and stay calm, don't be panic, and help each other and see carefully what we can do. Alright, that's it for today. I hope the video is helpful for you guys. Thank you for watching the video. Give me a big thumbs up and share the video with your friends and families. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Follow me on the social media and tag me on your post if you give it a try. My website is still under construction, but I put the link for the little recipe in the description box below. In my store on Amazon has pretty much everything that I'm using in my videos. Thanks again and I will see you soon. Bye!